Okay, welcome back for part 5 of the Castle Crusade. Let's kick things off here with the combination of Brissa and Orin. So I've had a bit of a think about sending Brissa all the way back to our starting town, uh, but I've decided we are going to keep her for now as a kind of double team with Orin. But her particular composition of units is of course much more suited to Orin than it is to her. So I'm going to actually start prioritizing training up Orin. So we're going to hand over all the units back to him. We're going to take the Centaur's Axe and I don't think we need the spell. And we're just going to try and train up Orin as much as possible. Brissa is going to be kind of a side concern. We will try and train her up as well. Um, but I'm going to prioritize just making Orin as strong as possible. Let's split these guys into two stacks if I can just remember how to do that. There we go. This should be fine. Yeah, one loss expected. Let's just accept it. Uh, let's go for advanced air magic. I don't think we need water magic. Uh, let's go for basic armorer. And let's push forward to pick up these two things. So I'll leave Brissa to pick up the Ring of Infinite Gems. That is, of course, really helpful for us, but at the same time, we're doing extremely well on gems, uh, despite the fact that we have a very extreme um, Archangel supply. We're actually doing completely fine for gems. A bit surprised by that. That's actually a free Tree of Knowledge. That's perfect. I was expecting to have to pay. And that gets Brissa basic Earth Magic, which actually immediately undermines my goal. Uh, I kind of feel like maybe Brissa at this point would be the better hero to rely on. Uh, so we've got a black market there. I wonder if that's worth going for. Let's move towards it. And let's send Brissa. I do need to be a bit careful, of course, because if she does get attacked, we're in some trouble. But actually, we can see right there is possibly Orange's main town. Let's have a look. Of course it's not Orange's <laughs> of course it's not Orange's main town, it's a, it's a rampart town, but it's a pretty good one. It's got Grand Elves, it's got I think those are just basic unicorns, I don't think they're war unicorns, but definitely gonna go for that next turn. Let's send Edric to this. Let's move down to take on the orcs. I don't really want to do it with just the one angel. I'm reasonably confident it would work, but just in case it wouldn't, might as well play it safe. Caitlin can't afford to buy the next angel, so we'll ignore that for now. And we're going to send Ingham up towards the Portal of Glory. There's not too much we can do with our current resources, but I think it is worth just trading a few gems for a bit of gold. And let's go ahead and pick up the upgraded Serpentfly Hive, or in fact... City Hall is also very tempting, but I think we'll go for that at the start of next turn instead. And I think the best thing to do is just going to be to end the turn here. We do have Adelaide, who we can send out to pick some things up. Might as well go to this, I suppose. Go pick up some griffins too. And start bringing them back. Did leave one behind, but never mind. Let's just end the turn there. Let's see what happens. So the plan, of course, is to send Loinus to the east and to take on... I forgot which player it is. It's been a few weeks since I recorded part four. But there is someone here. And in fact... As usual, I have been forgetting to use the View Earth and View Air spells. They are very useful, of course. So let's try View Earth first because it's expert, so that will reveal uh, that we can see. Teal is to our west. Actually no sign of anyone to our east, but it has clearly been slightly cleared out. And if we move in this direction we can see an unclaimed gem pond. Going down to the south, we can see Pink's lands. Orange has actually stretched pretty far. You can see that they've actually got an alchemist lab quite far to the south of their rampart town. And then to the west we can see Greenslands. And if we look underground... It's kind of here in the middle that we see Blue's lands. And speaking of Blue... I'm actually a little bit worried about Blue. Because Straker is looking extremely good. Kingdom Army Strength, they're actually ahead of us. Likewise for Pink. Pink did have... Not Arlac, but someone else. Gerwolf, I think. Pink had Gerwolf, and Gerwolf had extremely high defense, so Pink's a little bit scary too. But mostly I'm scared of Blue. Apart from the fact that for some reason Blue's best creature is just an angel. But somehow, despite that, they're still stronger than us, so... A little bit concerned about that. Maybe they have the Grail? I should view Air too, but I should have someone better who can do that, so... Unfortunately, 
Ingham doesn't have it. Uh, Brissa also doesn't have it, so... I guess we're going to have to just go for View Air with this guy instead, so we can see artifacts to the north. A few artifacts to the east as well, that's promising. And if we check underground... Doesn't really tell us too much. Okay, so I still think moving this direction does make sense. We can actually see a path to the south there. Get ourselves onto that and let's just follow it along. Okay, so Ring of Life there. So the thing about the Ring of Life is it actually undermines your resurrection, of course, because if you have, say, a 100 HP creature like a champion and you have the Ring of Life, that then pushes the champions up to 101 HP, which would completely mess up the one Archangel to one champion resurrection ratio. So definitely not going to prioritize that. Uh, let's go over to Caitlyn. Let's pick up the next Angel. Let's pick up some Pikemen and let's send them down. And this should be completely safe. There we go. Probably could have done that with just the one, but I think it does make sense to be safe. Uh, we're going to send Edric back towards the west. Might as well go to the Mystical Garden on our way. Uh, let's send Orin. I do wonder about just doing this with the Archangels. I might actually try that. So in terms of stats, Orin is better in terms of might, so let's go with Orin. Let's take everything except for... Let's take a couple of marksmen just as bait. I don't really like doing this, but I think it does make sense. So we're going to lose three marksmen. And then after that, six Archangels against this. It should be very safe. We don't know who's in there, but there might not be anyone in there, so let's just go for it. Okay, so we could lose potentially one Archangel here. I'm hoping we can avoid that. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the towers are going for the Archangels. That's really not what I wanted to see. Uh, in terms of spells, we've not got much. We've only got the one spell power, so... Maybe Brissa would have been a better choice in hindsight. I think for this initial turn... Perhaps we should wait first. I do want to get through to the Grand Elves, but... Yeah, I think waiting does make sense, so let's wait for now. I'm going to send these guys forward as hopefully bait. I don't think the towers are going to go for it though. Okay. So we could go for a double hit on the Pegasi, break through to the Grand Elves. That might work. So we'll send these guys in first. They've still got a good amount of health left. These guys are slightly weaker. Okay, so first Archangel does go down, which means we should probably now resurrect it straight away. Uh, we actually get morale, so that's perfect. Let's go. I mean... These guys have already done their resurrection, which means their turns are less valuable, which means it does make sense just to send them up and use them as our main attacker. Uh, we'll send these guys down to take on the centaurs. Okay, so we've taken those out. Stack's been blinded, but the, the Grand Elves do wake them up, which was definitely not in their interests. Let's shoot these. And they are not taking the bait with these. Okay, so this stack has taken a few shots. It's down to 20 health. Let's kill these first. Do get some morale, let's go for Cure. And... Another problem with this two stacks of three idea is you do need to keep track of which stack has used Resurrection and which one hasn't. 
and I'm not sure I completely remember that, to be honest. So if these guys have 35 HP, I'm sure it's these guys that still ever resurrect, as far as I remember, so we kind of need to fly them out, but at the same time the towers are just going to go for them, so I don't think we can actually keep them safe. So yeah, we don't really have a good option here, I think we're just going to have to accept the loss. Okay, so now the towers are going for the marksman, that's fine. Uh, yeah, as expected, this stack has not uh, got the ability to resurrect one of those, so we do lose an Archangel. It's probably worth it for a town, but yeah, that's, uh, that's not ideal. Let's see, so 143 on those, 204 on these. I think we should be able to stay safe. Okay, so these guys are down to 34. Yeah, the problem is they're really focusing on the wrong stack for us. We need to... We need to try and keep this stack safe. I'm not sure if we can do it. No, we can. Perfect. Okay, so... Pretty much the same losses as the auto-resolve, but, um... I did get a bit nervous there. I thought that could have gone worse, so we'll accept that. Let's have a look. So yeah, in this town, there is no Dragon Cliffs yet. They've got pretty much everything else, though. Let's go for Mage Guild level 2. Let's hope for Blind. There we go, we've got Blind. Uh, we've got Ice Bolt, so... That's actually pretty good. We can potentially get Orin to be slightly better. And if we wanted to go for the Dragon Cliffs... We just need some ore, so that is potentially doable, but I am of course going to focus on um, building up my Archangel Supply first. I do kind of regret buying the Arch Devils in the previous episode because it wasn't really worth the money, but never mind. Alright, so let's go to Ingham next. Let's go to the Portal of Glory. Buy one of these, send it back to Adelaide. And let's start moving towards this. Adelaide's going to go back to the town. She's going to potentially upgrade them. We can't afford to do it this turn, but that's fine. Uh, let's send Tyrus through. Rissa does have the rest of our forces. We could go take on the Minotaurs. That's probably quite safe. The alternative is we could go scout instead. But no, let's go for the Minotaurs. I think that should be completely fine. Okay, so they're going to do some damage. Uh, we don't have mass slow, but we do have mass haste. That's probably going to help us somehow, I haven't quite figured out how, but let's go for it. Uh, I'm slightly risking the morale here, I should have moved up. There we go, so they do get morale, but it is the unupgraded stack, so we're fine there. Alright, let's move these guys up to block. Never quite sure how to handle this. So I, I don't want to waste the Zealot's turn. But can I actually fully block them? So this is going to block these two hexes here, we've got one stack for that, and then we need three more stacks. That should work. I think that should be fine. Let's do it. So you guys shoot these. You guys block these. These guys need to go for the biggest stack. And if we just go like this. So we're probably going to take a few losses to the pikemen. Let's shield them. Take these out. There we go, we might actually be safe. Yeah, no morale, so should be able to finish these off. Perfect. Alright, let's see what we've got. So the Orb of Driving Rain could be interesting. It only costs us 60. The Equestrian's Gloves is a no-brainer, let's go for that. Buckler of the Null King is kind of expensive. Orb of Driving Rain might be a bit better, but I don't think either's worth it. We do want to try and hang on to a few gems. A 
and push slightly further to the south. Okay, so we can see there is a way back underground, we can see lots of greater basilisks, that should be fine. Okay, as usual, let's hope for no morale. Doesn't look like we're gonna get any, so that's perfect. Let's finish these off. Okay, great. Let's move in this direction, and I think that's pretty much all we can do this turn. We can send Orin out to do some scouting. I can't really see too much of a downside to that. I don't really think we need to stop here, so let's just go out. And I have forgotten to invest in the city hall in this town. But can just go for something else instead. We probably don't need to spend these resources, so let's not bother. Uh, let's go back to our Inferno Town, that's looking pretty safe. Yeah, let's try and hang on to our gold instead. Okay, I was about to say I'm really surprised that they just don't seem to be showing up anymore. I'm not sure we've scared them that much, but someone has come through. It's Gerwolf and... Gerwolf is not Pink's strongest hero anymore, but definitely has really good stats. I think his defense stat was about 20, so... He's stronger than he looks. He could be really dangerous. We need to bolster Tyrus as much as we can, so... I think for now, let's just pull back. Let's actually bring Ingham back up. Actually no, Ingham's fine as he is, let's just bring him back. Okay, and then we're going to send Adelaide out. We're going to take this angel back. Down to base and upgrade them. And then let's just spend... Firstly, let's actually spend our gold on a city hall in this town. Uh, he could actually be coming to attack this town instead, that would be a problem. I have a feeling he's going to move towards our castle town, that is just a whim. But... I feel like that's more likely somehow. Do we want to spend a thousand gold on upgrading this guy? I think we do, he does have earth magic, we are going to start using him, so let's do it. Uh, we've not visited these two. Let's go for them too, I think that's fine. Brissa, let's move in this direction, we can see a monolith two-way and a subterranean gate, so... Pretty high odds of finding an opponent here, let's just jump through. Okay, lots of power liches guarding a Pandora's box, let's go for this. Basic logistics, perfect, let's go for this as well. 10,000 gold, not bad. We can also see, I think, a cloud temple down there. Let's just come back through. And let's send Brissa. It is a two-way, so we should be able to come back if we don't like what we see, as it takes us over to here. How does that work? Have I been... I think there's a path, isn't there? That I've forgotten how this went, but I think there was a path there that goes to the south. So, this is actually... This actually suggests that Ghostwind is fairly safe. I'm gonna jump back through. We're going to go to Orin, and we're going to pass these units back. And then we're going to send Brissa up towards this. We're going to send Orin through next turn, we're going to maybe start building Brissa. A bit of a rampart force. Caitlin's going to go to these. And let's start moving towards the water wheel. And then we have got 10k to spend, so let's go back to this town. Pick up a couple more Archangels, and... 
could start going for the champions, of course, because Tyrus is the champion specialist, but... No, I think we want to try and prioritize the angels as much as we can. Alright, let's see what we can see with Linus. Cartographer. That's got to be doable, right? The kind of unspoken downside of the Cartographer is every time you end a turn you have to watch every single hero on the map make its move. Um, so... Don't know if I want to do that just yet, I probably will come back this way, I'm going to have to think about that one. Also it's kind of overpowered, but I'm not going to let that stop me. Okay, Damacon has... 5 to 9 Titans. I was expecting someone much weaker. There is a Griffin Conservatory. But I actually really don't want to do this. Yeah, so his stats aren't very good, but the fact that he has that many Titans, that's concerning. It's probably five, but that is not as easy as I expected it to be, and actually looks like there's no way through to this. So if he actually comes to attack me, that's probably okay. I will split these guys into a stack of three and two. Score because I should be able to do with no losses. I could also go for this just to see what it is. Yeah, so I think it's pretty obvious I need to come back. I, I shouldn't go for this. I wish I had Resurrection. I might go for it if I did, but... Since I don't... I'd be stupid to leave the Cartographer behind, it's... I haven't ruled it out, I haven't given myself a rule not to use it. Let's just take these out. Let's go for this. A thousand gold to see the entire map. Fine, let's do it. Okay, so now we know exactly what we can go for, so a throng of Crusaders, that's probably worth going for. As Serena is a scout, we can see... Ash is up here too. Two Dragon Utopias, which... Might have already been visited. They have been opened up, but... Potentially still open to us. We can see also lots of behemoths, equestrians, gloves, and a prison. There's actually really a lot of good stuff here, but... How do you get to this? This is such a convoluted route to the Dragon Utopia. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a problem, Damacon. He's going to cause us some problems if we don't get Resurrection. Is there a way we can get it just by taking on some of this stuff? I guess a throng of crusaders. Pandora's box can teach spells. I don't know if that happens on random maps. I can't remember, but that might be the way to handle this. All right, so 2,000 left to spend. Adelaide is fine where she is for now. Let's just go back into this town. Let's put everything behind. And let's end the turn there, so now we're going to see a lot of stuff that we couldn't see before. I feel like I'm going to regret going for this. I have no idea where that is. This place looks interesting. And here's purple, there's tan there too, so... They're all over the place, purple does come to attack us, we're expected to lose. Yeah, so there is a lot there. Seven Titans, that's pretty scary, but we've got a lot of really good spells. Expert Shield. That's going to be pretty helpful. Of course, the Earth Elementals will bail us out. That's always going to happen. 64 spell points, though, isn't much. If we were to go for the Mass Slow, that doesn't really help us too much. Can't really reach us anyway. Yeah, so they can't really do too much to us this turn. It's really just the Titans we need to worry about. We do about those. We can't blind them. Disrupting Ray's not going to help us too much. I think realistically we probably want to go for... I can't believe I don't have haste. We want to go for Summon Earth Elemental. We want to haste them over to the Titans. 
I also want to go for shield. Because I'm going to have a hard time keeping my angels safe from the titans. There's a good chance we just lose the angels here, but it's going to be worth it just to take this guy out. I want to go for this. Okay, so 60 Earth Elementals, that's going to help a lot. Let's just wait. Go for the attack on that stack, which is fine. Strengthen the Nagas, let's hope for no morale. No morale, so that's okay. And actually blind those. And I think we're just going to have to send these forward. Okay, so these guys are now free. There's not too much we can really do with them. Can't really keep them safe from the Nagas if we choose to attack most of these stacks. Yeah, that's tough. We do get to go first next turn, so it does still make sense just to come forward. Do some damage to one of these two stacks. I really, really, really wish I had Resurrection because this is not really good enough. I could go for the Mass Slow. That is going to have an impact. Let's do it. The problem is the Titans. The Titans can really screw us up. There's not really much we can do about that though. These guys can reach us, no matter what we do. So if we move up to attack the Titans, we're going to be... We're going to be in range of the Iron Golems if we attack the Genies. Only kill two genies if we attack those. Pretty tempted to actually fall back. I mean, these guys might just cast another spell, so. I'm gonna go for these. There we go, so they finish off that first stack. They are now going to all go after the earth elementals, which is fine. Is this worth going for? We only get the one kill, which is not great. Let's go for these. And those actually get morale, so we're going to have to summon another stack. Yeah, they're really going for it. Going to need another stack. Okay, so first stack goes down. They move towards second stack, they can reach. This is a problem because we can't get another stack after this. If I had more spell points I might be okay, but... This isn't really gonna work. These guys are still blinded. It's gonna be a while too. Okay, so I think the Iron Golems will now wake us up. Maybe shield. Magic arrow is going to do enough to kill about half a titan, which isn't much. Blind. Blind is worth going for. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so these guys actually choose not to go for the Archangels, so the Archangels are going to be stuck for a few more turns. That's probably okay because we can just try and debuff these guys as much as possible. A shield. Okay, so these guys have woken up. It's probably time to go for the attack on the Titans. I'm no longer confident we can win this. Stone skin. It's pretty good. But not good enough. What I should have done is I should have teleported the Earth Elementals. This is our final spell. I think I like stone skin, but it's not going to be enough. I mean, even with that, that's 
it's not good enough for three Archangels to take down seven Titans, that's just not going to happen. What I could try and do is just try and do as much damage to everything else as I can. These guys are blinded. They could be cured. Okay, so hopefully, yeah, everyone's going to go for the Earth Elementals, which is fine. I'd like the Golems to go for us too. And try and pull them away. Okay, so Elementals are gone. He blinds us, immediately unblinds us. Classic AI. Uh, if we go for this attack, we can kill one. Not this round, but start of next round, we can kill one. I'm not sure that even helps us much. Yeah, if I had more spell points, I think this would be fine. But two stacks of Earth Elementals was not really enough for this. I need to make sure I can flee before it's too late. So these guys are blinded. What I'm worried about is if they get cured, they could come in. Obviously, absolute worst case scenario, they kill the Archangels and we don't get to flee with Linus. So in that regard... Maybe it makes sense to come up to the Titans. But maybe not. I'm gonna go for these because this way I can at least guarantee I'm getting the kills I need. I don't know exactly how much damage the Titans are gonna do. We won't actually get a kill if we go for the attack. 7,500 gold, we don't have enough gold, we've spent it all. So, just have to accept we're gonna lose these. Is it worth trying to go for one kill? I don't think it would work, so I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go for these. There we go, that way they do half damage when they hit us. Uh, they blind us, but then they unblind us. And we need to get out of here before he potentially wakes up the Nagas. I think this is it. Can't really do anything else. If I go for the hit on these... Titans usually do... Let's have a look. So they usually do 93 damage, so we can expect them to do about 200 damage to us. These guys shouldn't be able to reach us, even if they got cured. Can't be cured and hasted at the same time, so... Let's go for one last hit on these. Okay, super nervous, but I think we do get to escape here. There we go. Yep, gonna have to just flee. Damn, that wasn't even a particularly great exchange. Thought I could win that. It would have been fine if I just had a little bit more spell points. Okay, so what I'm probably gonna do with this is, because we're gonna be seeing a lot of stuff that's not too relevant, I'll probably just edit a lot of that um, end turn stuff out. But yeah, we do actually get to bring Loinus back to our original town, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Let's pick him back up. Let's take the Archangels. Let's actually go all the way up to... So, I did mention that six is kind of a magic number of Archangels, because you can then uh, resurrect one from each stack. But... The other magic number is actually 10 Archangels, because if you have 10 Archangels, you can split them into two stacks of five, and each stack of five is able to resurrect two Archangels in one resurrection. So that's actually an even better number, because it means there's no, there's no kind of excess HP being wasted when you resurrect. But it is really expensive. And with this being the Castle Crusade, I kind of want to go for a Doom stack of Crusaders. But that is also a bit of a wake-up call, because that was just... That was just purple, and purple is not even... Not even one of their best players. So, yeah, enough gimmicking around. I think we need to start taking this a bit more seriously, perhaps. So, realistically, as much as I would like to, I do think I'm going to be able to sweep through the map with just Loinus and five Archangels and actually win. But we're going to need something better. Send Orin up. Orin does have a really good force. 
So we don't have mass slow, I'm not really seeing this as being worth going for. Actually check out this stuff. So there's a hidden dragon utopia. I'm not really seeing too much though. Yeah, this stuff doesn't seem that great. There is a Griffin Conservatory. Yeah, I think it's the right decision to come through this way. Let's just keep exploring. Okay, so that doesn't tell us too much. Let's send Brissa back to this. And... Probably just gonna wait for now. Idris gonna go to this. And start coming back. Tyrus at this point is gonna have to accept that she's not as important as she could have been because of course it does now make sense to just restock Linus as much as possible. So in that case, not really too much we can do with her, I think. Probably we just want to keep her next to Linus as a bit of a backup. So I really want to go after Gerwolf, and when I catch him, I want to try and get his artifacts. Because he's got something that's really bulking up his defense. Okay, so Linus still needs to get his spell points back, but we can just go through here, we can pick up the magic well there. Uh, we should be able to get that on our way through to Gerwolf. So yeah, that should all be fine. Then Caitlyn up to this. I'm not sure it's really worth going for the Swordsman here, to be honest. Let's just go for these, because these are free. Chris is fine where she is. Ingham's going to go for this. And start coming back. Returning to this, the Hydra Pond is not worth going for. I think our other towns do have the City Hall already. So something I could do is I could start building up my Mage Guild here and try and get Resurrection. The problem is this Mage Guild caps at level 4. Not great. So probably not a priority. My plan, to be honest, my plan was I was going to go and take this town. I had a good feeling it would be a Tower Town. My plan was to take this town, build it up to level 5, get the library, and try and get as many good spells as possible. Um, but unfortunately, Damacon proved to be a lot stronger than expected, so that's not going to work. Okay, so yeah, let's go for two Archangels here, let's end the turn. And let's just see what happens. Okay, so blue is staying still for a very long time, which I usually interpret as a sign that the hero has fly or dimension door or town portal and is just having a really hard think about where to go. So I'm going to have a close look at that. I'm going to try and see if that's Straker. There's Damacon. I guess Damacon probably could have taken on the Dragon Utopias, but his stats weren't really good enough. So maybe not, but he probably will take them soon, so we definitely can't count purple out of the fight just yet. Alright, let's send Edric up to this, and let's go to this. So basic intelligence might be a good option because we do have earth magic, our knowledge skill isn't that great, so there is an argument for just bolstering it as much as possible. But I think I'll avoid that for now. Let's go back to our main town, let's pick up three extra archangels, and let's go over to Linus. So Linus has five archangels. If we pass 5 more over, that's going to take us up to the magic number of 10. Let's go do it. Turn those over to Tyrus. We could take some fodder. I don't see why not. Let's do it. Linus will send forward. We're going to pass all of this stuff over. We're going to send Linus through. 
we'll go to this. That gets us all our spell points back, and we can still reach Gerwolf, so that's perfect. But before we do, let's just move the rest of our heroes. So let's send Caitlyn up to here. Let's probably leave Brissa in place. I don't think there's too much else she can do. Let's send Ingham back to our town. Tyrus should probably start falling back. We can go to this. And we can improve our spell power or our knowledge. Probably worth doing. This is a pretty good hero. Let's go for knowledge. And let's just pull back slightly. Uh, Orion we're going to keep exploring, so let's go up to here. That looks like a dead end. Yeah, it definitely looks like a dead end. Let's go in this direction, that's another dead end. Okay, so this is looking kind of disappointing so far. Alright, so that really just leaves Loinus, and Loinus is going to have to go and take on Gerwolf. And his insanely high defense stat. So that's going to be a tougher fight than it looks. But let's go for it. Before I do, someone is calling me, and I am out of time, so thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. In the next part, we will be taking on Gerwolf, and we can still bolster Loinus. I know he does have 10 Archangels, but we can already see we need to be extremely tough because even 10 Archangels is not necessarily going to have a great time against this number of Titans. And that's just purple. Blue stronger. Pink stronger. Purple is pretty average. So we've got some really tough fights ahead of us. We're going to need to be as prepared as possible. We're probably a bit too thinly spread at the moment. Uh, we do have several good heroes on the go. Probably have to try and actually concentrate it a bit. And at that point, it might make sense just to go and start trying to hunt down our opponents, their best heroes, with Linus. Just wipe them out. And at that point, we can then start using the rest of our heroes just to sweep up whatever's left. But yeah, still quite a few challenges to come, so we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.